Today, we will be installing Token Flow, which can be used for video editing using text prompts. As we see in these examples, we simply provide an input video, and then we can make changes using text prompts. Here is an example of someone cutting bread as the input. Someone running turned into a Moana movie, and then Pixar style, and then a marble sculpture. A dog with its head out of a car window into a cheetah in the desert. A wolf into a silver robot, or into a colourful paint, or into a fluffy doll. That is pretty cool. Let's get started with the install. First, let's open an Anaconda prompt and CD into a directory where we would like to install this. Now let's go to the GitHub page and get the URL for the git clone command, and then let's clone this repository. Let's CD into the newly created directory. As of the making of this video, the code doesn't run on Windows without a pending pull request from someone with the name of Rod JJO. Let's go to the GitHub page and click on the pull requests tab. Then go to the pull request number 10 with the fix for Windows 10. If this is not here for you, then it is probably already merged with the main branch and you won't need to do this part. From this page, we just need to copy the pull request ID. For this one, it is ID number 10. Now let's go to our Anaconda prompt to issue a command to fetch and then check out in a new branch these code changes. Run the command git fetch origin pull slash and then the number of the pull request, which is 10 slash head colon and then a name for our new branch, which I will just call Windows. Then we call git checkout, then the name of the branch, which I called Windows. And now we have the pending pull request code changes and can carry on with the installation from the instructions on the GitHub page. We will start by first creating a new Conda environment. Then let's activate the newly created environment. And now we can install the dependencies. Once that is finished, I'm going to go into Python mode and check if CUDA is available using the CUDA dot is available function. And it is not available. So I will go to the official PyTorch site and get the install command and run it in the Anaconda prompt. Once that finishes, I am going to rerun the Python. CUDA dot is available function to confirm that is now available. Great, now let's proceed. The install is now complete. Let's go back to the GitHub page and copy the command for the pre-process. I'm going to paste it in Notepad so I can modify the values. I'm going to get rid of the new line and set the inversion prompt to be blank. For the data path parameter value, I'm first going to go into the data folder. For my test, I'm going to use this short video of a wolf. Let's go back to Notepad and update the value for the data path parameter to be the wolf mp4 file in the data folder. And now let's copy paste and run this command in the Anaconda prompt. We get an error. This is requiring Chardet. I forgot that CUDA install seems to require Chardet. So let's go ahead and pip install Chardet real quick. And now let's rerun our pre-process command again. For me, this part took a very long time, about 30 minutes. It used up 100% of the CUDA. The GPU I have has 12 GB dedicated memory. The temperature topped out at 79 degrees Celsius. 
That is 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my. It finally finished. Let's go back to the data folder, and now we see it created a folder called Wolf, with all of the images from the video. If we go back one folder, we see a new folder called Latents. Great, now let's carry on. Let's go back to the GitHub page. Scroll down to the editing section. Here it says to edit your video, we need to modify this mentioned config file. So let's go back to the folder and go into configs and then open this config file with Notepad++ or a text editor of your choice. Here, for the data path, we are going to specify the folder that the pre-process generated within the data folder. It was called Wolf. For the latents, we can leave that as it is because the folder that it generated was called Latents. And now we just need to modify this prompt. I am going to steal the prompt from that other config file that is in the config folder. So that way I have to do less typing. I'm going to copy-paste the command from that other config into our config. The prompt is now set to a shiny silver robotic wolf. Save the config file and let's go back to GitHub. And let's copy-paste and run this command in the anaconda prompt. This part also took a very long time, about another 30 minutes. It has finally finished. Let's go see what it generated. It has created a new folder called Token Flow Results. Something, something. Let's click into these millions of nested folders. And here are the results. We see the inputs and also the outputs with different frames per second. Here is the output at 30 FPS. Here it is at 20 FPS. And this is at 10 FPS. And there you have it. I would say this does take a very long time to generate, at least for me. The whole process took about an hour to complete. In the future, I will look into using something like Google Colab so that we might be able to run it faster. Enjoy.